Hello everyone and welcome. My name is James with First Updates Now and driver for Team 107 Robotics. And today we'll be taking a look at one of the most exciting matches of the year, the World Championship Finals Match 3 from the Galileo Division. This match featured global powerhouses like 1678 Citrus Circuits and 1114 Symbotics. Perfect execution of high level strategy. Harder hits than any other match the rest of the charged up season. And you won't want to miss 1678's lights out defense coming up here on Funalysis. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Annie Mark has parts and products designed specifically for First Robox competition and First Tech Challenge teams. Many Annie Mark staff are first alumni, mentors, and event volunteers. Visit AnnieMark.com for all your educational robotics needs. Kettering University has over 25 pre-college camps and learning experiences available from computer science and engineering to inspiring future women engineers, leadership development, and first base camps for first graders to graduating high school seniors. Magna and GM sponsored camp fee scholarships are available. Email ctaylor at kettering.edu for more information. So before we get into the match breakdown, why don't we take a look at some of the fantastic robots we have on these Galileo finalist alliances. So on the Red Alliance, we have Team 1114, that's Symbotics, the captain of the Red Alliance that made it all the way through the upper bracket here on the Galileo division. They have the second most blue banners in world history with 55, absolutely absurd, five Einstein appearances, and even won the 2015 World Championship with this team over here on the other side of the field, that's Citrus Circuits. Their first pick for the Red Alliance was 3005, the Robochargers. Great robot, best robot in Texas, state championship winners. For sure a real breakout year for them with their do-it-all intake. Their second pick was Team 836, that's the RoboBees. They had fantastic Autons all weekend, won the Auton Award on the field, well deserved. And their third pick was Team 2337, the Engineers. One of the best strategy teams out of Michigan, absolutely absurd they were this late in the draft. It goes to show how deep this competition was, and a really, really solid red alliance here. Over on the blue side of the field, we have uh, the Alliance captained by Team 1678, the Citrus Circuits. Absolutely legendary team. They've now made it to Einstein nine years in a row. That is insane. Uh, they've ri they're rising in the Blue Banner ranks with 46 Blue Banners. That's tied for seventh all time. And they always seem to find a way to win. And we'll see that later in the match. You'll keep watching and you'll see what they can do. Even through all adversity, they're able to make things happen. Their first pick was Team 3476, that's Code Orange. They also have five Einstein appearances. Uh, a surprise pick to some on the field, however, it turned out to be a perfect complement of play uh, to 1678. Their second pick was Team 461, that's West Side Boiler Invasion. Coming into this year, they had never won a competition in all of their years of competing. However, now, they've now won three this year alone. They were also Indiana State finalists, meaning they took home one or two medals because they won the Impact Award at their first district at every single competition this season. Crazy year for them. Congrats to them on an awesome year. And their third pick of the Blue Alliance was Team 59 Ramtech, who played a crucial role for this alliance of filling in. We saw it later on Einstein where they filled in for Code Orange due to some robot failures on, on their part and was actually able to win the match. So hats off to them for being well, willing to fill in with that role. Uh, they were also on Einstein the very first year it existed back in 2001, so that's kind of a cool fun fact. Without further ado, why don't we get into the match. So, in coming into Auton, both of these alliances had the potential for two perfect Autons. We had three pieces on both sides, bump and flat for both alliances, perfect balance Autons. While with supercharged notes, perfect Autons isn't as important, it's still very important to maximize that Auton score. Uh, an important thing to note here is as 836 comes and gets their cube, uh, their first cube, they actually knock the second cube, which is going to cause some problems for them later. Citrus is going to come back and score, attempt to score a cube here, but they're going to actually miss that cube and it's going to roll out. So that cube doesn't actually even score. Now another thing over here, 836 also missed their high cube, which also isn't scored. Uh, it's a good thing for these alliances that supercharged notes were a thing. Um, if this was going to be the, the perfect match before Team Update 21, this would have been quite catastrophic. Now the real catastrophic part here for the Red Alliance is 836. They actually vision adapt during Auton it appears because they're able to pick up the cube even though it's in the wrong spot, which is awesome. Clearly deserving of Autonomous Ward. However, on their way back, they knock the charging station. So not only do they miss this cube, they also are going to land on the charging station, 
making 1114 docked rather than engaged technically, which loses them another four points in addition to them not scoring the cube. Another interesting part, 3005 earlier in Auton, uh, tried to score this mid cube, however it drops to the hybrid and is just over the line. It's scored later in Teleop, but it doesn't get that Auton bonus. 3476 completed their three cone auto on the bump side, very impressive. Both blue robots and red robots were able to get uh, the engaged uh, robots, however, the Red Alliance did not get that because of 836 contacting the charging station. So now let's get into Teleop. At the start of Teleop, we see 1678 and, and 3005 both doing these mirrored short cycles here in this zone right here. And I think that is why 1678 chose not to pick 3005. 3005 was probably the second best robot on this field. However, with such a similar game style to 1678 and what 1678 wanted to play on Einstein, it, it made 3476 the better pick for them, and I think that was the right choice here. Something important here, uh, at the start of Teleop, we see 461 is going to get this cube that was knocked earlier by Citrus, um, and they're going to actually be in the Red Alliance loading zone, which means they get a call for extending outside their frame perimeter there, which is one of the two penalties in this match against the Blue Alliance. We're going to see both alliances continue to cycle. We see um, both alliances kind of working in links, which is how most alliances played this game, where uh, they, they filled links at a time to guarantee themselves those link points if they wouldn't, in the event they wouldn't fill the field, which we'll see both alliances end up uh, not filling the field in this match. 3476 continues with those uh, with those low cycles. However, 461 actually is going to set a screen here against 3005, which I thought was really um, well played by their part. It was able to slow them down a little bit and it, it helps out a little bit. Um, let's quick go back a second to about 107. We see a huge collision here between 3005 and 3476. Just some of those really, really hard hits from these fast and powerful swerve drive robots. And it's actually going to result in a penalty against 3005 uh, for being inside the, this blue loading zone, which happens quite a few times in this match between the two alliances with those big hits and the collisions in this big traffic zone. So it, that's definitely something that we, we saw in a lot in this high level of play here at Champs. This was another moment I thought was cool with 1114 trying to swerve around 1678. 1678 is going to kind of almost guide 1114 into another big hit here from Code Orange. Just knocking Symbotics off their game a little bit is was able to help them and slow down their cycle just a little bit more. So here is really the pivotal moment of the match. This was the turning point. So we see Citrus Circuits coming in here, and 461 is, is taking the, the short cycle spot they typically take. So Citrus is going to decide to go for this cube instead, rather than their short cube. So Citrus is going to come in, extend their intake, and they're going to run into their own teammates, 3476. You can see it really, really well here on this low angle. I loved these camera angles here at Champs. Um, they weren't the best camera angles, but really good close-up shots of these collisions, which was super fun. And we see that 1678's intake can no longer spin. They try to acquire that game piece. Um, they, they were not able to pick up the cube. They try to problem solve, and clearly they're panicking in this moment. However, they, they keep their cool, they go for a loading station cone, and that also doesn't spin. So what are they going to resort to? Everybody else is playing around them. At this point, they're down 11 points, and, and they're in trouble. So it's taken them about 20, 15 to 20 seconds to realize they now need to switch to defense. And this is where this match really, really picks up because Citrus just goes completely off on this Red Alliance. They, they target 3005, and as we see here, um, they knew they could push around 3005. 3005 has a max swerve, and they knew that if they hit it hard enough, there's a chance, and maybe they knew this, maybe they didn't, there's a chance the tread would fall off, which we'll see later in the match. Uh, which really cripples 3005. 3005 was the best score on this alliance, and Citrus is able to just completely, completely shut them down. We see them rolling off using their own swerve to just give 3005 no opportunity to get off, and it appears that after this colli these collisions right here, they're no longer able to use one of their swerve modules because one of the treads is either starting to come off or, or not entirely sure, and we basically see them just hobble around for the rest of the match. Um, they did draw two fouls while they're in the zone, well, only one of which is actually counted in the final score, which is interesting. I'm not sure if that was an error or, or what happened there. But 
at this point, Citrus has realized, or around here around 38 seconds, the 3005 is incapacitated. So Citrus is able to realize that and now switch to 1114 and 836 to continue that defensive pressure. They're down to just losing my six points here, and Code Orange and Robo Bees, are, or sorry, um, West Side Boiler Invasion are able to keep cycling and try to fill those links. And Citrus is able to just completely completely destroy whichever robot they choose. It is just fantastic. I've never seen anything like it uh, in this game. It was very impressive. And we'll see Citrus kind of do a climb chicken here with 1114. 11, is going to try to stay out for one more cycle and Citrus is going to stay in the middle of the field and just say, no, you're not getting, you're not getting this cube. You, you got to go back. And push him back and now they're going to go back with just 13 seconds left to try to attempt their normal triple fork. Important thing, watch down here. So because of the, the tread loss or, or whatever was wrong with, uh, ro with RoboCharger's swerve module, they're unable to get on the charging station. And they're struggling. And we see Symbotics actually is going to come off the charging station here. And it looks like they're going to try to push RoboChargers up the charging station and swerve back around and try to triple balance. But they end up around five seconds aborting that, trying to triple balance themselves because they thought RoboChargers would get up. RoboChargers isn't able to get off the charging station while Citrus is able to do their signature flip climb and that's going to make both RoboBees and Symbotics count as docked rather than engaged and be the nail in the coffin for this match. Citrus is able to get the 42 charge station, Citrus as Alliance is able to get the 42 charge station points which is enough to win the match 184 to 166. Absolutely epic match, well, well done from a strategy perspective in an adaptive perspective. We had robots breaking on both alliances due to the high level of collisions. I just got to say hats off to both alliances. They left it all on the field. They played super well. Um, I loved watching this match personally in person. I was super stoked to see Citrus continue their Einstein streak. We'll see if they can continue it for a decade next year. Um, they, both, they both battled real well. It was an epic match. Congrats to all the teams that competed at the World Championship. Um, it was great to watch Einstein and just all the fields. Uh, it was definitely an event to remember. And I can't wait for next season. Special thanks to Team 1678 Citrus Circuits for the t-shirt um, for my wall. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great rest of your day. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University has over 25 pre-college camps and learning experiences available from computer science and engineering to inspiring future women engineers, leadership development, and first-based camps for first graders to graduating high school seniors. Magna and GM sponsored camp fee scholarships are available. Email ctaylor at kettering.edu for more information. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first-team experience and offers high-quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.